Now chapter 9, or section 9. Oliver Cowdery had wanted to translate, and so he was so excited, and he started this process, and it didn't turn out well. It didn't end well. He wasn't able to complete it, and he has some questions here. And so the Lord answers those questions in section 9. Let's start in verse 3. Be patient, my son, for it is wisdom in me, and it is not expedient that you should translate at this present time. Brothers and sisters, don't be shocked when at times what you want doesn't line up with what God wants for you. Oliver desperately was comparing with Joseph, saying, I want to, I want to do what he's doing. I want his job too. And so for a short little segment there, he was able to do it, and then it didn't last, and he's frustrated. And so what happens? Verse 4, behold, the work which you are called to do is to write for my servant Joseph. Some of our biggest frustrations in life come when we don't get what we want, but if we will swallow our will in the will of, of God, then we'll find true happiness. And the role Oliver was going to be called to, to fill was not as translator but as scribe in this case. Verse 6, do not murmur, my son. Keep in mind, this is Jesus speaking to Oliver, and he's referring to him as my son. I love this, this familial feel. It's not my brother, it's my son. Jesus is adopting us to be his children, his sons and his daughters, as is described beautifully in the Book of Mormon in Mosiah chapter 5, verse 7, and Ether chapter 3, verse 14, just to name a few. Uh, and by the way, Jesus knows something about being an adopted son. He knows about taking people to become your own and raising them as your own, and that's what he's doing with Joseph and Oliver and with all of us. So notice verse 6, do not murmur, my son, for it is wisdom in me that I have dealt with you after this manner. And then he tells him, you didn't understand. You got something wrong here, Oliver, and I'm not condemning you for that. I'm going to shape you. You're going to learn from this. It's only a failure if you don't grow and progress and learn from it. Look at verse 8. But behold, I say unto you that ye must study it out in your mind, and then you must ask me if it be right, and if it is right, I will cause that your bosom shall burn within you, therefore ye shall feel that it is right. 